Sample library review.com and today we're gonna to be checking out Secunda by Wavelet Audio. For the latest release here, they focused on throat singing to create a cinematic instrument. It's pretty massive. I'm pretty excited about playing with this one. They're promising a toolkit for the contact player with samples of the human voice with throat singing textures, ancient vocal harmonies, and a whole bunch of great modern sound design based directly on that throat singing. For the project, Wavelet Audio teamed up with Ren Vas Turul, who's in a couple different bands, as well as producing music for video games, movies, and trailers. Secunda downloads a 6.2 gigabytes, that's 24-bit, 48K losslessly compressed NCW format. The bass instruments are a collection of classic Kra Garoth style throat singing with a slew of sound design instruments as well. Categories include mains, phrases, and one-shots, Plus, there's a folder that's a collection of bonus stems. Instruments include true legato, multiple round robins, and dynamic layers. Library comes as a collection of waves, although it does run in the contact player 7.5 or higher and is NKS compatible. Secundo normally sells for 199 bucks. There's a promo price, but I think it's just for one more day for 159. The first instrument we've got here is in the mains. It's the Emperor's Chance, and it gives you a bunch of different syllables, consonants, vowels to kind of play with. Uh, you could just play around, and let's listen to a few here. Then you also have the ability to change how the transitions are between them, so you could get more of uh, like staccato chanting. Or something more long with legato transitions. The next instrument's the Kragira Chance. This is cool because you got controls over some of your vowels as to what they're singing. But also you've got lower register Kragera chants and higher register Kragera chants. Ambli agel balmar Ambli agel aron agel Ambli Ambli agel mar nom varirogu. And there's also a button here that you can bind them both, so you can play. Both of them in octaves together. And then the third instrument for the mains is the drones and atmospheres, and this is where things start to get pretty interesting.
taken tons of uh, sound design instruments they've created from these vocal textures, vocal singing, and kind of layered them together here with hits and ambiences, and you just start to see how this becomes a scoring machine. great that you have control over the individual layers because this is a three layer engine here. And you've even got controls for how you can visually inspect the instrument, looking at each of the waves separately or as them layered. The second category is the phrases. <laughs> With complex Kagura phrases. <laughs> the red keys once again control the pitch. <laughs> And although it can get a little bit wacky when it's extremely pitch shifted, it does give us the ability to create custom melodies with these chants. <laughs> There's a collection of low Kragira phrases. And yes. I did play with the tempo to make sure they all do tempo sync to your dog. Higher register, Kragira chants. 
Rono to ho tul rono to brendos aleli brendos aleli breaths and whispers which I think are pretty cool. And then process whisper loops, which start to take this out uh, into another hybrid world. Playing with the distorted loops, I really got excited with these. I think these are going to be real great launching points for all kinds of scores and songs. Here's the one shots with hits and impacts. And each one's given us like four octaves of different hits. There's also an additional drop down so you can pick out signals. Try reversed stutter instruments. and distorted bass instruments are going to be a nice fresh collection of Brahms to use. And then this low bass for pulse instrument, this is pretty cool. I think this is going to be very useful for any kind of hybrid scoring. Transitions are kind of like combinations with risers and hits and different things blended together.
And then the stomp designer is just a massive 32 round robins. It almost doesn't matter what key you hit. You're still going to get this consistent stomping sound. Growls and screams. We've got two different instruments for those. Sun, girl, girl, run, girl. And then an instrument with breaths. And then an instrument with breaths and whispers. You can see the folder structure gives you your samples that are accessed through contact, but you also have the wave samples themselves for all of those different instruments. If you prefer to drag and drop from your DAW for production work, there's also a bonus folder with the stems. And these stems provide a collection of pre assembled different performances using the instruments. let you know what BPM they're originally designed in and the key. Now I think this is pretty niche in the throat singing aspect, but because they've taken this out for these sound design instruments, it's going to be incredibly useful for anybody doing cinematic work, anybody doing trailer work, of course. And I think there's some pretty unique elements here that could be adapted into some pretty cool electronica, world instrument production. Overall, I think the recording quality, the playback, the sample set is spectacular. It sounds so clear and like it's coming right out of the movie theater screen. Yeah, I've shared some of my thoughts along the way, but I'd love to hear yours. Please comment below, let me know. What do you think about Secundo? Are you gonna pick this one up from Wavelet Audio? It's a winner in my book, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Head back around on Fridays for the weekly deal compressor.